Morning all. Welcome back to another week on the homestead. Um, just thought I'd pop up and see what's happening with the birch tree juice that we did a few days back, or a couple of days back now, on a horrendous snowy... <coughs> there, look. Wow. A big bucket. What's it up to there? Ten litres, is it? Yeah, nearly two gallons. We'll have to empty that today because this stuff can go sour a bit quicker than the other stuff. That's good. Right, let's go and do some planting, I think. try and get the greenhouse uh, planted out with those seedlings that you saw in the last video. But before I do that, I need to empty the barrel down into the tote down there. So I need to get the pump out and the hose. You can see here it's still very squelch squelch under the foot. Um, we had a lot of rain. And snow and ice is still melting and blah blah. But anyway, let's go and get the pump out and do some. There's a hose for the pump still in storage in the winter. Move our gear out. I'll have to try and drag this out somehow. There we go. This looks a bit of a mess around here. Spring clean. The other barrel has got holes in it. I can you can't pick it up on the video, but I saw daylight through it. So I'm going to have to weld it up. I can't find the pump. I thought it was in the workshop. Um, maybe it's in the coots animal stable, what you want to call it, barn. Ha <laughs> ha. There she is. Right, I'll get this connected up and then I'll pull this hose down to the tote. All right, I've dragged the hose down. And obviously we empty the tanks over winter because the temperature is minus 30 and it will just freeze and bust. So this will be the first filling. Sounds promising. Ooh, water. Right, I made it to the greenhouse. Got the seedlings out. As you can see, there's quite a bit. I've been playing around with spacings. These are obviously my spaces for the market garden, but I've never used them in here actually, strangely. Um, I've been playing around with the four and the three. Five is a bit too much, depending on might get away with it on the spinach, possibly, but anyway, I think four is fine. If when, when I designed the greenhouse, I've got a feeling the middle bed was uh, not quite as wide. Um, so we should be out on, okay on the outside, but um, the inside is going to be a little tight. Right, I'm done for today, I think. So we've got uh, Tom Thumb lettuces in rows of five, red Russian kale, or ragged kale, Cos, Paris Cos lettuces in fours, red pak choy in fours, green pak choy in fours, spinach in threes, and some radish, which I'll do tomorrow. Looks like finally we can see the garden and the beds. How exciting! Although you can still, there's still snow and ice. This is pretty much the last place 
where there's still snow and ice, which is quite interesting. And it's on the predominantly on the wood chip path, so I don't know um, if that's significant or not. Really, it's interesting though. Just looking at the lake. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. I hope you can hear me because the wind's horrendous. Um, the edge of the lake is that there, where those where that tree line is. But look at the water here because of the flood water. Peter's just dug up some, I didn't realise she was doing it, some Jerusalem artichokes. In fact, this whole patch here is Jerusalem artichokes. So there's kilos and kilos and kilos and they grow and multiply every year. So it's kind of an endless source of food. And I don't know how to describe them really. Kind of a potato-ish with a bit of a flavour. Got the birch tree juice, got four buckets, siphoning it off. Maybe 20 litres I think, which is nice. If you've just seen the clips of the weather we had over the weekend, you wouldn't believe that today is the next day. You would think it's the next month, like I just said, um, with the juice, but it's just incredible, the difference. Very gentle breeze, all the spring flowers are out the crocuses and whatnot. Wonderful. Right, we're going to get those barrels out, I think, now, which go on the corner of the house and get those set up. So if we get some rain, we will have some water. Right, the barrels are in the coots. See what we can find. Maybe a bit dark. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do for now. Oh, six, there's another one around the corner. And there's the water bath as well. We should bring in to stop it freezing. Well, we bring them all in to stop it freezing, really. Right, let's drag these out. See, we've got the gutters down on each corner. I'll take this last section of pipe off and then put the spout up there. <clears throat> and then on this side of the house, they've got these, uh, I built these like tables, stands, because this side of the house is higher than the other side because the whole property is on a slope. So the barrels have to be higher on this side. And then this one here in the corner of the house by the door has a tap so that um, mother-in-law can get water out of the barrel without um, any complicated systems. And then the other three we just put on the corners and pump, pump the water to the water um, IBC totes. Barrels just over there, I just need to drag them over here and install them. Right, there's our four barrels done, one on each corner. This is how they're supposed to work. This is the only one that's fully finished. You've got an overflow pipe which runs underground, comes out down here. So all the wa excess water is taken away from the house. And I've got three other of those barrels to do this year. So that was kind of an experiment which worked really well. And we'll install that on the other barrels this year sometime. Just popped into the greenhouse to see how things are progressing a few days ago now since I planted but everything looks okay things are 
standing up, not lying down. There might be one or two casualties, but generally it's okay. Red Russian kale, pak choys, Paris cos lettuce. I forgot to plant those radishes, so I need to do that. A few friends have joined, patrolling, patrolling the greenhouse. Should any nasties come up? I think I saw a friend down here as well somewhere. I don't know where he went. Yeah, looking good.